racial justice issues spark a high energy debate. WJZ, the Baltimore Sun, and the University of Baltimore brought candidates for Baltimore City State's attorney together for the first time in this campaign. WJZ is live. Political reporter Pat Warren has more on where they stand. Pat? That's right. Incumbent Marilyn Mosby has two Democratic challengers, and the outcome of this primary will determine who will be the next state's attorney. Baltimore State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby stood with her Democratic challengers today at today's WJZ Forum, listing the challenges faced in her first term in office. From the untimely death of Freddie Gray to the uprising to the Department of Justice report that exposed the discriminatory policing practices of one of the largest police agencies in the country, to the full implementation of body-worn cameras on all, on all officers in which they were reenacting the discovery and seizure of evidence. This Mosby says her office is meeting those challenges. Her opponent say they can do better. The city I love is a city in crisis and I can do something about it. The Rue Vignaraja campaigns on his record as a former federal prosecutor. I have pledged on my watch to bring record-breaking homicide rates to record lows at record speed and at the same time forge the most innovative, transparent, progressive prosecutor's office in American history. Aunt Edna was mugged literally right up the street from where we are today. It made Ivan Bates want to be an assistant state's attorney. Now he's a defense attorney. I see the whole picture. And what we need is a change. When we sit down and look at the criminal justice system of where we are, it's broken, and we need new leadership. A brief disruption is indicative of the fact that criminal justice in Baltimore hits a lot of nerves. We would not have the conviction rates that we have if it wasn't for the efforts of my office. Bates calls for reform to include ability to get jobs. And we have to make sure we put together a system that can hold people accountable, but also gives people hope so they can have jobs. Vignaraja says he'll end cash bail. And I think the protesters understand that those kinds of reforms are desperately needed here in Baltimore City, and they're not seeing it happen for these past four years. The winner of the primary wins the office. And that's because there is no Republican running for the office of Baltimore State's attorney. I'm Pat Warren reporting live. Now back to you. All right, Pat, thanks. And stay with WJZ for updates about the candidates as the Maryland primary approaches. Remember, on June 26th, WJZ is your election connection.